mention too that to wholesale that which later on I said to myself, no, that can't be right. You said you get paid. And what then you mean? I might have said something that could be right. <laughs> Well, in my mind. Then, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, there I am. I'm human. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> and you said that you wholesale it, and then you do the EMD, and then all, all this other stuff has to get done, but you can get paid, and then all the conditions are done afterwards. And I'm thinking, how can that be? If, how can you close? Like, if, Okay. So I got confused there, too. All right. So... Um, I don't know what I said, <laughs> but I know what I'm going to say now. <laughs> um, uh, uh, that's funny. Good times. Okay. So um, th there are two ways to do to wholesale it. And, and this goes for residential and commercial. Okay. But let's talk multifamily and commercial. Okay. Two ways to close it. You, you, you got it under contract. That you're the wholesaler. I'm the end buyer. You approach me and you go, Paul, I got this deal. You want it? I say, yes. I've got two options. <clears throat> once, I, once you assign the contract to me, I can, I can pay you right then and there. Your assignment fee, say thank you very much. Nice. Yeah, have, a, okay. have, a blessed, have a blessed day. Okay? And you're off, you're off to the races finding another one. I now take over all conditions of that contract. Okay. So in order for that to happen, I've got to become comfortable with all the conditions of that contract. The timing, the escrow money, I mean, the earnest money, you know, all the, all the, all the conditions. I got to be in order. So, and I can pay you and then go. The other way that it's done more typically is like a double close. Okay. So you're, even though I've, I have a contract with you to buy that contract from you, Right. I've got to go get all of my money together, and then we both go to the title company. And on that on on closing day, the title company pays the seller. You pay the seller. Yeah, right? your title company. I remember what you said about that. Yeah, on you your pay the clothes. seller, and then I pay you. And right? they do it. They do it so that you don't really. Out of they do it simultaneously, so that you technically don't ever have to hand any money over to the seller. I hand the money to the seller through you. Right. And, the, and the and the title company lines up two two closing statements, two HUD mm -hmm. one statements, um, or now as as they're called closing documents. Okay, so <laughs> they line up two. They do the timing. There's literally, you know, thirty forty minutes, an hour in between the two transactions, and uh, they can do it so that the seller never knows. My position is I don't really care if the seller knows. I'm in the real estate business. You're in the real estate business. We're in the real estate business to make money. He sold it. He's going to make his money. Everybody's yep. going to be happy. Okay. If he's the kind of person, he or she is the kind of person that goes, God, I could have squeezed out another hundred thousand dollars on that deal. I, you know, I, I don't have any room. For that. And, and by the way, it's not sneaky. It's not under the, <laughs> under no, the table. It no, is just, it's just a string of paperwork and timing of the paperwork that a closing agent needs to know about period. End of story. Yep. Yeah.